Yes, I mean, Oman has witnessed a lot of inflow of investments in 2017 and in 2018. And I think many people have a very strong confidence in the Omani economy and also in the stability that the country has uh, witnessed for many years. Well, we started the construction two years ago. The project has different parties involved, the contractor, the project manager, the consultant, the ID consultant, the MEP consultants, the MEP uh, subcontractors. We've got very strong teams that are working this project in leasing, marketing, operations, and uh, retail delivery team to do the coordination with the uh, tenants and their fit outs. So the project is built with a total area of almost 150,000 square meters and a total leasable area of just over 70,000 square meters. And it's built in one phase entirely uh, for a total duration of 24 months. And we're on track to complete the project by the end of September 2018. Today, uh, many people tend to do their shopping online and retailers have not been doing uh, huge sales from their physical stores as they used to do in the past. This has created a drop in uh, actual physical retail sales in uh, many malls across, across, the, across the world. Many people at the same time cannot uh, have a good experience when it comes to entertainment or casual dining unless they go to a shopping center. So in Al Arami Boulevard, for example, we have focused a lot on creating different uh, dining experiences. So you've got a nice casual dining area that has different cuisines from the, inter from the entire world. At the same time, we've got a very innovative uh, uh, food uh, court area that also has different offerings at a different ticket price. We have increased the percentage of entertainment out of the entire leasable area in the mall so that we would have a trampoline park, a cinema, we would have adventurous rides, we've got uh, 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 virtual reality games, uh, which are new in the Sultanate. And creating these different entertainment options is quite crucial to attract uh, footfall. At the same time, Oman is a country where people enjoy outdoors, and a lot of the malls tend to offer you an indoor experience only. Al Arami Boulevard is the only shopping mall in Oman that offers you both an indoor and an outdoor experience. Uh, we've got the largest and first uh, dancing fountain that combines water and fire with a stage where events can happen with a capacity to entertain over 3,000 people. Uh, outdoors and it's something very unique in this project that does not exist with the others. I think all of the mall developers uh, uh, complement each other and I think we work very closely hand in hand to ensure that we create a very strong customer experience. We in a ride group through our own projects we don't really focus on competition as much as we focus on creating new markets that are based on innovation and added value. And uh, therefore, in my opinion, the retail market in Oman requires more malls to be developed. If you look at the international uh, uh, standards of having retail space, it's 20 square feet per capita. In Oman, it's 9 to 10 square feet per capita. The US alone has 60 square feet per capita. So Oman still has a lot of potential for new malls to open and therefore mall developers, as I've mentioned earlier, uh, complement each other. The tourism sector is an important sector because Oman is focusing a lot on diversifying its uh, sources of uh, revenue by focusing a lot on increasing the tourism sector. And if you look at the number of uh, tourists who are coming to Oman, they're at a good uh, growing rate year on year. And the retail experience is something that a lot of tourists would like to come and enjoy. And therefore, it goes hands in hand with it. And because we're quite close to the airport, and we've been marketing a lot about this project in the airport, I think we would have a very strong uh, 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 segment of tourists who would be coming to our project. The construction sector probably tends to uh, uh, hire a lot of Omani engineers to be part of the a construction company who could work in operations and administration, civil engineers, site supervisors. And the construction industry is quite diverse because it's got 
not just the actual block, cement and concrete and steel, rather it's a highly specialized uh, sector when it comes to fit outs with bespoke materials for example or uh, supervising a specialized uh, contractor who is carrying out a specialized job. So uh, I think there is a, a good role for the Omanis to take uh, advantage of in the construction sector. The way that we usually go ahead with our projects is that we would tender the project and have a number of uh, contractors participate within this tender. We look at different uh, variables which are very important. Most importantly, their historical record when it comes to completion of projects on time, that's number one. Their uh, record on building huge projects, which is very crucial. The teams that they have and how strong of an administration and coordination and their financial position. Uh, is it a contractor who is having difficulties or no, is he a, a strong contractor who is sold in the market? Uh, these are very important parameters for us. And based on that, we would select the best contractor. We look at the technical qualifications uh, that they have, and therefore we award the project. And for Al Arami Boulevard, the contractor that won the bid was Unique Contracting Company, one of the strongest, best companies in the country that has many years of uh, uh, proven. Uh, history of completing large projects on time. Oman has witnessed a lot of inflow of investments in 2017 and in 2018, and I think many people have a very strong confidence in the Omani economy and also in the stability that the country has uh, witnessed for many years. And therefore, it is the land of opportunity, definitely. And there are a lot of uh, opportunities that do exist today in Oman, not just within the real estate sector, yeah, Oman has taken the initiatives to diversify its uh, economy by relying on mining, uh, agriculture, fisheries, light industries, tourism, etc. And therefore, companies that are specialized and that are experienced do have an opportunity to come and invest in these sectors in Oman.